to receive Jesus Christ into your life as your Lord and Savior. The Bible says he came into his own, and we know that he came to the Jews, the chosen people of God. He came to the Jews, and they rejected not everyone, but the majority of them, and the leaders, the ones that were supposed to be religious, they rejected him and would not accept him, would not have him, and, uh, and, and, and but notice what it said. I praise God. And, and, and see, he came into his own, and his own received him not. They would not receive him. They would not receive the testimony. They wouldn't even receive it when he would go out and, and open blinded eyes and raise the dead and, and cast out devils and uh, let the blind to see and the lame to walk. And they would look at that and still they would not believe. They would not receive the witness that he had in his life. And the Bible says they rejected him. In other words, they didn't receive him. They rejected him. I uh, praise God. But then it goes on to say, uh, but as many as received him, to them gave he power. See, it wasn't the ones that rejected. It wasn't the ones that didn't receive, but it's the ones that received the testimony, the ones today that received the testimony. We receive today the testimony that the Word of God gives about his only begotten Son, we receive that testimony that he was the Son of God, that he is the Son of God, that he is the one that came to this earth to pay the ultimate sacrifice for your sins and my sins. And what we have to do in order to receive that, uh, we have to receive Christ. We have to receive the promise. We have to receive the reality that he is uh, the Savior of the world. We have to receive uh, uh, the fact that he is uh, uh, sitting at the right hand of the Father tonight, making intercession for the saints of God. We have to receive today uh, that he is the Son of God, that he did die, that he was buried and rose again the third day, and he did that he shed his life's blood for your sins and my sins that we could be free, that we could uh, be uh, saved tonight. I uh, praise God. So will you receive him tonight? You tried everything else. Uh, uh, you're out there today and you feel like uh, hopeless. You feel like you don't know which way to turn. You don't know who to talk to. Uh, you don't know who to uh, to call upon. Uh, but here tonight, I would want to, I want to tell you, uh, if you feel something and dealing with your heart and you realize, hey, he's talking to me tonight. The Spirit is dealing with me tonight. Let me ask you tonight, let me plead with you tonight that you receive Christ into your life. And the way you receive him into your life, you've got to believe. And when you believe, you call upon him and you ask him to be the Lord of your life. You repent of your sins. You say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I, I can't save myself. I know you are the Savior of the world. I know that you died for me, that you arose from the dead, that you're sitting in the right hand of the Father. And I know that your blood was sufficient to cleanse me from all sin. I praise God. So today, I just ask you to come into my life. I receive what you've done. I receive the promise that you left me, that if I would believe upon you, and I would call upon you, that I could could be saved. And I receive that word. I receive that promise. Oh, praise God. But notice what it says. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood. I praise God. Hallelujah. I praise God. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. See, it's God's will. It's not God's will that any would perish. It's not God's will that any would go down lost without him. Him, uh, but God did everything uh, that he could uh, uh, to bring mankind back to him. Uh, and he sent his son Jesus uh, to die the cruel death of Calvary. Uh, uh, praise God. Isaiah, uh, I begin to talk to him. You look at uh, a picture sometimes uh, of Christ and, and you'll see that uh, a little blood uh, around uh, the thorns uh, on, his, uh, on his brow. Uh, and you'll see a little blood running down from his hands uh, and his feet and a 
little blood uh, uh, running from the spear uh, that went into his side on those pictures. Uh, but Isaiah said his visage uh, was marked more than any man. Uh, and we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God. Uh, uh, praise God, honey, I'm telling you today, uh, uh, he was unrecognizable. See, he was beaten. Uh, uh, he was bruised. Uh, uh, praise God, the whip uh, that they, uh, uh, the, the cat of nine tails that they whipped him with, they tell me that there was there was maybe bones and uh, there was maybe glass, different things uh, uh, well woven into the end of that. And when it would hit, uh, it would uh, sink into his skin. Uh, and when they pulled it off, it would pull part of the skin away. Uh, honey, I'm here today to tell you uh, uh, that he suffered it all for you. Uh, he was a bloody mess. Uh, I praise God when uh, he hung on that cross. Uh, his mother that was standing there, if he, she hadn't have followed and known that that was him, uh, uh, she wouldn't have been able to recognize him, Brother Joe, uh, uh, because he was beaten and bruised. Uh, uh, they spit on him. Uh, uh, they plucked his beard. Uh, uh, praise God. He did all of that for you, young man. Uh, uh, you, young lady. Uh, I don't care if you're old. If you may be in your 90s, uh, you may be 100 years old. Uh, but if you have 